Good evening, YouTube. This is Brewed by Me. I'm going to be doing another review tonight. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing a beer that I got from no other than the Albino Rhino Bison Fest. It's a Marzen, so um, I don't want to try and get it done before it goes bad. Um, I don't remember what the ABV is. Because it's in New York, they don't place they they don't put the ABV, but it's something like five, four point five or five percent. I think he said. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'll have to double check with him. But anyways, Bison Fest, Flying Bison's Bison Fest is brewed with care and tradition, so you can enjoy the spirit of Chimutalikit wherever you enjoy the beer. We brew Bison Fest with German Pilsner, Vienna, and Munich malts. Excuse me. To give Bison Fest its rich multi flavor and orange amber color. The spice of German hops balance this perfect this beer perfectly. We hope you enjoy this fresh Bison Fest the way people have enjoyed Oktoberfest since 1810 with food, music, and friends, old and new. Flying Bison wherever you celebrate with friends. Sweet. Nice label. According to him, this is a really good beer. All of the beers he got from these guys were good. So I'm super excited to give it a try. Nothing fancy on the cap, just a plain gold cap. Flying Bison Brewing Company, Buffalo, New York. Brew by me. Using my uh, fake dogfish head glass. Hmm. Orangey golden in color, no head whatsoever. Nice carbonation. Let's give her a smell. Alright, so off the initial smells, you get that, it's right up front, sweetness, maltiness, right there, right in your face. Um, as I sniff deeper into the glass, I'm getting some caramel notes. There's a slight, like, um, bubblegum uh, smell to it, like a uh, sweetness, but like a uh, fruity sweetness. Hmm. So it smells, uh, smells good. It's unfiltered because I can't see through it. Anyways, enough of blabbing on and telling you what it smells like. Give her a taste. Alright. Alright, all in all, it's uh, not a bad tasting Oktoberfest. I wish there was a little more head on there, but whatever. C'est la vie. Um, as for the taste, your first initial taste is the sweetness, the maltiness. Followed by a nice creamy smoothness. Uh, 
um, middle of your tongue you get the I would say it's a medium carbonation um, uh, medium bodied low to uh, light to medium bodied um, so I'm picking up the sweetness of the malts I'm picking up a slight bit of caramel I'm picking up the bitterness of the hops um, I'm picking up that slight fruitiness The aftertaste is a fairly bitter earthiness, but it goes away quite quick. It's a nice, easy drinking log, uh, lager, Oktoberfest, Marzen, style is a Marzen. It's a fairly decent beer, I have no complaints about it. It's not the best Marzen I've had. Um, I think the best Marzen to date that I've had is the Bose Night Marzen. Um, I might be a little biased because I like Bose, but I think that the Bose Night Marzen has a lot more of the Marzen characteristics. Like uh, it's 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 up front, it's uh, right up front, it's the sweetness like a, a Marzen should be, and then the bitterness works well with 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 the sweetness. Whereas this one. The sweetness is there, but then you get boom, all that bitterness, and then and it goes back to the neutral palate. Now, like I said, if you can find this, go ahead, give it a try, because it's not bad at all. You wouldn't be wasting your money. Um, everybody has their own tastes and opinions. Uh, I'm just stating what I'm getting off of it, so it doesn't matter. If you think something else, you can think something else. I'm just telling you what I think. Um, other than that, uh, you know, good job for the Flying Bison uh, Brewing Company. It's a fairly decent and well put together by uh, Oktoberfest. I'm glad I got to try it. Um, I was I was down in uh, New York for a bit in August, and then uh, I went uh, into New Jersey, um, and I stayed uh, a week in New Jersey. So I tried to hit as many um, craft brewers as I could on my way down there um, but again I was going to New York City and then I was going to New Jersey so um, Buffalo is more east I guess than I was going so I didn't manage to get out there but uh, in the future I will um, a big thank you to the Rhino for this this is an awesome beer bud um, thank you so much um, there's not much more I can tell you about this beer. You know, because the bottle tells you what kind of malts are in there. It tells you that there's German Pilsner malt in there, Vienna malt, and Munich malt. And that's telling you that there's a spice of German hop balance with this beer. Now, the, the spice of German hops is most likely um, uh, Halletower or Herzbacher and Tettnager or, or uh, Target. Now, um, as it's warming up, I'm getting a bit of earthiness, but not too much, uh, not too much else. Yeah, a nice earthiness there. It, it balances and mixes well with the the, the, the sweetness of the malt. Um, the carbonation has died down. It's not as aggressive as it was at the beginning. Um, the head's non-existent. Um, let's see if I can regenerate it. See if I can get the beer to look good. But I doubt it. Yeah, no head happening. Um, there's no lacing either. Yeah. 
it's a good beer, guys, girls. Um, no complaints. It's well put together. Like I said, if you guys do this again, try and make it a little bit more sweeter um, and not so much bitter. Um, other than that, it's a, a perfect mar marzen. The colors pretty close. Maybe a little more red. You should get you should get a little more red, but you're okay with that. Um. Anyways, mm. thanks a lot, uh, Rhino, for this awesome beer. It's truly appreciated. Um, I hope you enjoy the beers I sent out to you. Excuse me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, leave any comments or suggestions in the bottom. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I told you what the malts were, so, well, the bottle told you what the malts were, and I told you what I thought the, the hops would be, so my job is done. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Brew by me out.